linear independent and dependent function so in this video we are going to learn how to identify whether the functions are linear independent or dependent with the help of ronge scheme so now before that let's understand what is a ronge scheme and how we are calculating that one so for that take n function y1 y2 y3 up to yn so the ronge scheme of these functions are calculated in this way where this is a determinant of the matrix and the matrix is of order n by n now how to define this matrix so first we will take these n function in the first row then take its a first derivative in the second row then take their second order derivative in the third row till n minus 1 derivative of each function in the last row so we have taken n minus 1 derivative starting from the 1 2 up to n minus 1 so the total number of rows from here to here are n minus 1 plus this 1 so total rows are n even the number of columns are n because we have taken n function so it is a n by n matrix now calculate the determinant once you calculate the determinant you will get a function in terms of x or a constant Based on this wx, we will identify whether the functions are linear independent or dependent. Now, how to identify that one? So, there are two results. So, the results say that if we have n function and interval i is given to you, in that case, if the determinant is not is equal to 0 for every value of x, if that value of Ronskian is not is equal to 0 for every value of x in the given interval i. In that case, given functions are linearly independent. Even if functions are linearly independent, definitely in that case the Ronskian is not is equal to 0. This is a two-way result. If the rounds cannot is equal to 0, functions are linearly independent. If the functions are linearly independent, then the rounds can is not is equal to 0 for every value of x for the given interval. Now, in case the rounds can is equal to 0 for some x rather than for every x, if it is a 0 for even single value of x, in that case, the given functions are linearly dependent on that given interval i. Also, we can say that in case of Ronskian, either you will get a not is equal to 0 value or 0. So, when they are not is equal to 0 for every value of x, they are linearly independent. If it is equal to 0, it is a linearly dependent. So let's understand this concept with the help of example. In the first example, we need to show that these functions are linearly independent. So first we will take the function y1 is equal to 1, y2 is equal to sin x, y3 is equal to cos of x. Now calculate the ron scale. How to calculate the ron scale of y1, y2, y3? So y1, y2, y3. So this is calculated as the determinant of y1, y2, y3. Then we will take their derivative, first order derivative in a second row. Then we will take its second order derivative in the third row. So this is z equal to determinant of 1 sin x cos x. So, de derivative of 1 is 0. Take it for the derivative. That is 0. So, sin x derivative is cos of x. What is its derivative? Further is a minus sin x. So, this will automatically give you the second order derivative of sin x. So, cos x derivative is minus sin x and derivative of minus sin x is minus cos of x. Now take its determinant. So what will be the final determinant? The final determinant will be 1 into minus cos x square 
minus sine square x. So this is equal to minus cos square x plus sine square x. You can take negative sign common. So this quantity is equal to 1. So you will get minus 1. So finally we are getting the wrong skin wx is equal to minus 1. So this number is not is equal to 0 for any x. So this is always not is equal to 0 for every x. We can say that for every x this is not is equal to 0. So this implies the given function 1 sin x cos x are linearly independent on any interval. So let's proceed with the next example. So in the next example, we need to show that these three functions are linearly independent on any of the interval i but not containing 0. So again we will find the Ron scale. So w of x that is is equal to first we will write the function that is x x square x cube. Now take its derivative derivative of x is 1 its further derivative is 0 derivative of x square is 2x its further derivative is 2 derivative of x cube is 3x square derivative of this one is 6x. Now find its determinant. When you find that this is x, 2x into 6x that is a 12x square minus 2 into 3x square that is a 6x square minus x square 1 into 6x that is a 6x minus 0 into 3x square that is a 0 plus x cube 1 into 2 2 minus 0. Now simplify this. This is a x times of 6 x cube minus x square 6 x plus 2 x cube. So this is, is equal to sorry this is a x square so 6 x cube minus 6x cube plus 2x cube. So finally you are getting a 2x cube. So now this quantity we are getting a wx is equal to 2x cube. So this quantity is 0 only at x is equal to 0. So wx is 0 only for x is equal to 0. So if I remove x is equal to 0 from the interval, so definitely this number is not is equal to 0. So hence the functions are linearly independent and that's what we need to show. That is the function are linearly independent on any of the interval but make sure it is not containing 0. So we can say that function x, x square, x cube are linearly independent on any interval i.e. not containing 0. Now for the practice you can check whether these three functions are linearly independent or not. So you can comment the answer in the comment section.